Yeah. Um, I see a late game draw for Dumb Kia, and I'm like, well, um, I guess we, we know who's going to go to funds. And it's so depressing because I want more games, right? We all love League of Legends. Everyone at home is like, I, I will be getting excited for Chovy. Understandably, he's an insane player. Hanwha Life. I think, even if this becomes a 3-0, we're way better today than I expected. I think the cohesiveness isn't there, but it's not the Hanwha Life that we saw leading up to playoffs. It's not the Hanwha Life that we saw play against Nongshim, where it just felt like Luster, and it was literally just Chovy trying to drag them uh, into the next round. I feel like the team as a whole has leveled up, but that's you can't just level up. You need to evolve, right? You need to get your evolution right now within this series, within yeah. this very game. Or you're just out because Dom and Kia is too good. They are kind of on the next level. And we we have kind of said that Hamalite need to figure out a way to dismantle this team. Unfortunately, looking at this draft, we're kind of liking Dom and Kia once again, especially because once again, it plays white right into their wheelhouse. So. You know, maybe how a life they can get something going early. Maybe Arthur will look a little bit more proactive on the Olaf. Maybe get his lanes even farther ahead. And maybe we can see how a life from ahead try to shore up their macro, not make any too many mistakes, keep their vision in line, and not get caught out like they did in game two. And maybe then we will have an even game. But if that doesn't happen, we might just be seeing the 3 0. I want more games. I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm a simple man. If I can have more League of Legends, and I'm like, yes, I, w I would like more League of Legends. That's great. Uh, but I think in this scenario, with this draft, what you're going to be looking for is Arthur needs to, one, make sure that he gets the punish on the Gangplank on top. If you don't punish Gangplank, you're in a heap of trouble. And pr preferably get Chovy or Death Fat to the point where they can have a bigger impact on the game that they've been able to have thus far. Right, because if you don't satisfy both those solutions, I'd be worried that either Khan is going to just carry the late game regardless, combined with the uh, stalling potential that Damwon Kia has, because we know how good they are at stalling out games and at just playing defensively. Um, to go in here. Okay, well, the Mystic shot is going to miss, and now with the Aftershock down, Vista takes a bunch of damage on the backside, trying to be very proactive in the trades here in the lane. That's... They just hard one. Oh my god, it's. Mm. It's. <laughs> you okay, Chronic oh. Blur? They got another engage here. But uh, again, this is Santa Chog out there. Sustain in lane is, is pretty nuts. So this okay. is. Their sustain in lane is insane. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, which, which allows you, again, he's hit every single one besides <laughs> the zoning one. And you see they're already full health. So not only is trading evenly really good here, because if you trade evenly, you win just by the virtue of your sustain. But Senna's level one, especially with Glacial Augment, is really, really strong as well. And you can see they don't care about trading, even though they're a level down, because they know that the moment they get back in lane, Shogaf going to sustain up easy peasy with his passive. Ghost throws a couple of Qs and is fine as well. And this is one of your avenues, right, where you do need to pressure as Hanwha Life. If Arthur can come bot side, maybe bait Kane into making a play, find a counter gank, right, lock him down, throw some axes, a reckless swing left and right, then you can start looking towards a possible angle for Hanwha Life. But otherwise, I, it's, it's again, it's not even just the drafts and like saying like, ah, you know, the Olaf scaling is not great, but the rest of the team is pretty decent. It's just... Oh. Yeah, that's all. Sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Continue. I'm, no, no, no. That, that was necessary. I'm glad. Just, just a little sound. Yeah. It, it needs to be said, you know? It hurts us every time, and um, we need to pay attention to that. But having seen this game, Dumble Key just win late. Oh, boy. No silence comes in, so Deft is actually able to hop out of there. Does have to use his flash, so they trade flashes. This does mean that Arthur is going to start on the Rift Herald with the bottom lane of Hama Life rotating, and he will be able to pick that up. It's a two for one uh, in terms of summoners, though. So this is a win for Hanwha Life. It's not a big win, uh, but it's one you'll take regardless because it allows um, Deft to still play fairly decently forward because he is, of course, Asriel, right? He doesn't really care as much. He has his uh, uh, the ability to use his Arcane Shift, and this gets you double scuttle. Arthur made great use of the fact that Canyon showed his, vis uh, his face on bot side, didn't actually turn that into a kill to get himself an early game lead. Now clears out the top side scuttle, can move from top to bottom, 
a fresh back from Deft and Vista. If they can shove in the wave, you can press up that first turret because, uh, yeah, like I said, you need an early game lead. I don't even think your comp necessarily dictates it, but it's just otherwise you're not going to win against Amonkia. I just don't see it happening. If you go in on even footing, I, I don't see it. Yeah, that is true. Uh, Jovi, you, you saw he was trying to freeze the lane here in front of his tower, but Showmaker just took a little bit of extra time to stick around, push him underneath the turret. Just Chovy doing Chovy things with his lane control. And uh, I want to point out another cool part of this duo in the bottom lane uh, with the Seraphine, or not the Seraphine, the Senna, uh, Chogath. The Chogath goes to teleport, takes the unsealed spellbook, so we could have Feast and Smite on your support <laughs> alongside of Canyon. I think Beryl's also going for Everfrost. Oh, he's going AP. <laughs> that's, oh my god, that's so, your pressure on like level 6 becomes so insane, because if yeah. you ever hit a single root or knock-up, the enemy just dies. And you have Everfrost, like you have knock-up, Everfrost, Senna root. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It, it, it's great in the lane. It's great in the late game. For the reasons I just mentioned, um, you know, the, the Chogath is getting all the farm, he's getting all the feast stacks, you know, all that good stuff. It's not a normal s support troll Chogath, you know, it's a, it's a different beast with the, Sera the Senna, of course. So, going to be very excited to see how this one plays out. I was a, a Chogath fan myself. We all seem to be sir, here. If, yeah. you'd, uh, <laughs> if you'd like. And, uh, you know, of course, it's going to be a little bit annoying for him to see us up against the Ezreal, but he'll be okay. And it's not like they're going anywhere from this lane, so that's totally fine. As we're seeing Support Cho'Gath, this is the first time that Support Cho'Gath has been played. Now, again, this is with the Fasting Senna, so is it truly a Support Cho'Gath? I'm, I'm just surprised we had, like, 50 games of Jungle Cho'Gath. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, we have. <laughs> like, LCK a, has a long history. Yeah, I know. But that's, <laughs> no, that's a lot of games, though. That's uh, that's 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 a stat that I uh, I didn't expect. That, yeah, that's um, not quite the amount of games that Death had not quite the win rate, but a similar respect has been paid to Ghost his Senna throughout the entirety. Uh, oh, what? What? How did he do that? He got it with the auto, and he outsmites Arthur. I guess <laughs> he, he froze the thumbs up Teemo. Did he have? Wait, I guess he might. He must have had Smite. He, he must, must have, have had Smite. Oh my! It just looked like an auto, but he must have had Smite with the unsealed spellbook. Um, you know, everyone. You know what? He just did that with his auto. Everyone right? at home. <laughs> uh, Showmaker heard you go. Uh, that makes a lot more listen, sense. Okay. There's, listen, there's there's a mid lane gap here, right? Like everyone's like, come on, it's it's Jovi. Uh, Showmaker is okay, but and Jovi like, nah, man. I I got this Drake, easy peasy, and this is. <laughs> So this is so insane for so many reasons because it allows you to pick away an early Drake from Humble Life, which I think they need. I think they need to snowball early for the reasons we already mentioned coming into this game. Secondly, you will have a relevant rift. So if you're somehow able to pick up one or two extra dra uh, Drakes, you might be threatening a possible soul. Um, and also, this is a devastating blow to the mantle of Humble Life. Like this is the type of stuff that gets in your head, right? Like you, you have the free Drake. It's it's the freest objective in the world for you. There's no contest coming through. And then you see Zoe pop over that wall and Arthur must have already like, oh no, oh no, no man. Come on, don't don't do that to me. And you know he he's up a level, right? He's the mid laner over the jungler, he so does. it's rough. It's rough rough time for junglers everywhere. At Listen, this is a this is a Senna and, and Gangplank composition. And they got Drake. Uh, I'm pretty sure Canyon's just gonna like get Mountain or get Rift Herald now. I don't know if they yeah. can be on time. Well, Feast is available. This is here. And yes, as you mentioned, the Feast is here. But Ghost and Showmaker also around. The Collapse is coming in. Depth is a little bit late, but so is Ghost. It's gonna be three on two. And I think with the Feast, Although if they have the eye and then the beast, they should be good. But the smite, no! It goes the way of Arthur! And that's going to be the cast now! We do have Barrel picking up the kill onto the Leona with his own beast. Wish he had that for the uh, for the Rift Herald. That's a ton of damage now coming out from Death. But that is a huge steal from the side of Amalife. 
Super big there because this kind of tilts back the favor. They already had the gold lead and now they'll be able to pick up two kills. Arthur getting fed yet again with a critical smite. That. That's payback right there. That's You stole my dragon. I'll steal your Rift Herald. And it creates a scenario where possibly Hollow Life can actually find uh, some early game pressure here. Ah, oh, no, they don't. Okay. That was a little bit and scary. I hope we get to see a replay of that because both Morgan's cask as well as Chovy's gravity that was so beautiful there. I was, it was really, really nice to see that Hunt Alive still not afraid to pull the trigger. And I mentioned earlier, maybe they got the, the steel got into the heads. So far, so good. Seems okay, you know. But again, you know, it, it's a little bit of a. We'll have to wait and see because we have seen Hunt Alive get ahead early and then kind of get out macroed in the mid game. But again, this is a gr this is a great start for Home Alive. So you don't want to take that away from them. And this is this fight once again. And so this, yeah, it's just, I don't know why. Wait, you have these. I know. Um, and that's that's why it's so baffling to see that. That gravity field there keeps both Ghost and Showmaker completely away from the fight. Really, really nicely done. As uh, in the end, the uh, sustain of Orange combined with Ghost's heal is enough to keep him alive there. Uh, but I imagine that they made the call to save Feast specifically so that they could win the fight afterwards. Because I do think if you Feast there and you get the Herald, you might still lose the team fight. Because there was a um, <laughs> <laughs> there was an advantage in prior. There's both Showmaker and Chovy take a well synchronized nap. Yeah. Although I guess a little bit sleepy. A stun is not the same as as being asleep, but you get knocked out and the other person sleeps. Kind of yeah, works. It's like kind of similar. Yeah. Getting knocked Close out. Enough. I mean, it's really bad for your brain. Though. Oh, this is a big rotation. How many are thinking about engaging here, but actually they are going to have to flash away as the bubble will force the Ragnarok. Arthur not messing around here, obviously. Just going to run away from that one. And this does mean that Tovi should be able to pick up one plate at least. Teleport is available for Showmaker if he chooses to do so, but uh, we'll just run back to the lane. Going to give a plate over to Chovy as well as lose a whole wave, which is not where you want to be. Never mind. Picks up a little bit. Uh, well, if that hits, uh, Chovy's dead. But uh, it doesn't hit as Khan goes in here. Still around is Canyon as Arthur is trying to run at the mid lane as fast as possible. The damage does not come through from Showmaker, so Chovy will be fine. This is, you know, all generally pretty good news for the side of Hummel Life. I mean, he still has the Rift Herald here, and it looks like Arthur wants to drop it in the top lane. I'm again, I'm super impressed with Arthur. If they can pull up this dive and get first turbo, that's amazing for them. Okay, well, we have the ultimate coming out here. That's a ton of damage on Akon, but the Senna ultimate helps once again. Teleports come in, and Khan is still alive somehow. Arthur looking for the kill, and he is going to be able to pick it up. As with the Chaos Storm still in, but the Conquering Smite. Now doing a lot of damage here to Arthur as the sleep will come in and the rest of the team finally comes over and helps out Arthur who did get a lot of fun done but he did not drop the Rift Herald. Oh that is good for Hanwha Life. As you mentioned it would have been amazing if they got the Rift Herald maybe got a first turret blood but here we are seeing the fact that I was pointing it out earlier Damwon Kia going for a really greedy draft and kind of winning the early game. But ever since that still came through, Hanwha Life have been able to swap the tempo around and keep Damon Kia on the back foot. Gangplank notoriously vulnerable to dives. Khan tries to ultimate the wave and stay alive through that. But then the subsequent play by Hanwha Life, really nicely done. Not enough capitalization with just Showmaker teleporting in and the rest of Damon Kia not being close enough. And this is a comfortable 2k gold lead. If they can also pick up the Drake and keep this tempo up, I would be very happy with Hunt My Life. This is the problem, though. We've said that two times before. Yes. And two times did not come to fruition, as that is an unfortunate Rift Herald. <laughs> there she goes. Sally's just uh, wandering down the lane. Now, again, of course, Arthur will come up here. Khan is getting very aggressive, trying to deny this. And he does do a nice amount of damage to Morgan, but he's got to be careful. We got another play on the mid lane, though, as the sleep will come in, but that should definitely be enough damage. And that will be the kill. On to Jovi. Here comes Vista as Khan dies in the top lane. Vista and Depth here looking to turn around this play, but Cannon will be able to survive. But so much damage being done up in the top side. And that is the first turret block going over to Hanwha Life. This is the first time this series we've seen the gold lead actually balloon. Um, I, I thought uh, on the mini I was like, is Ghost just soloing Drake? I will actually start it up now, and with Daryl there, they should be fine. Cannon yeah. also there to secure it. 
And in the end, what we see here is Hanwha Life just piling on top of Khan, which you need to do with this Gangplank. Um, because we've seen what can happen if you just leave him alone in the lane and scale, so I'm happy with the punish. It's just again a question of is this worth it, yes or no. 3k gold is great, but two drakes were giving over to Dom on Kia as here Khan tries to clear the wave, has a really nice sidestep and stays alive way longer thanks to the Senna shield. But I think due to the teleport from Chovy, there's no way that you actually outplay this anymore. If he could have found the sidestep there, uh, he would have stayed alive for like half a second longer than Arthur would have just autoed him. Arthur, though, he plays this beautifully. If he doesn't dodge that paddle star, um, he dies earlier, and then maybe Show Waker can path towards the bot side. Yeah. Khan, again, uh, really nice orange there, sidestep. Plays this as well as uh, you basically can mechanically. But the real problem, of course, is that he goes in earlier there to try and yeah. punish Morgan. Uh, abuses that trading window uh, a little bit too enthusiastically. This is just Canyon walking up there, slapping into a bubble. Uh, not a lot more to, to say about that one. As then a nice ultimate from Vista, um, but no actual damage, right? So Kayan can just flash out after the Xenos Blade lands, and they loop around here, turn this into a dragon. And that's why I'm like, I'm still on the fence about whether or not this is really enough for Hanwha Life, because two Drakes means that gold is nice, items are good, but it's not a win shoot again generally in the current meta. It's a soul, it's dragons, right? Or Baron, possibly, but trying to take Baron against. Um, I guess free smites because Showmaker uh, also has smites, and then Barrel has two smites in Feast and Smite, and then you oh. smite Showmaker though. Thank thankfully, he had the W, but I don't think it's going to matter. This is 3v1, and Showmaker will die. You always got to be looking for punishes on Zoe, who portal jump willy nilly. We saw that there as three members collapse and take him out. And now take a look at the top lane. Khan is down two levels. And Arthur is coming up here again. He's ready to punish. Khan again getting caught here. Um, uh, oh, Arthur? Going the other way? Uh, um, well, um, Khan? <laughs> it's almost like he's looking frustrated. Morgan's just laughing at him. The AP Gragas is just dunking the GP after getting a lot of help, of course, but that is just going to be something you are milking for a lot if Khan keeps going in there. It's also interesting that Khan has gone for the Divine Sunder build. Recently, we've seen a lot more of the uh, Shield Bow and Essence Reaver builds, uh, which still provide a lot of survivability and uh, conjunction to having, in my opinion, a little bit more reliable damage. You will have a little bit more effective help with this Divine Sunder, and it spikes early nicely. So from a deficit, I kind of get it, but I still would have preferred to see the shield, especially because the scaling on that build just feels really, really good. Fortunately for uh, Damon Kia, they will still have more than enough damage with a Showmaker that has two kills and a Ghost that is on his trademark Senna. But Hanwha Life, more so than the other two games, has actually been able to keep the tempo high. However, I draw your attention to the gold league. It's still 3k. That number needs to become bigger, Valdas, because otherwise, like, clock, uh, like clockwork, I'm going to give you what happens. It's all looking good. Humble Life make one mistake <laughs> at like 25 minutes, and then in the next six minutes, Double Kia just win the game. Barrel hits a knock up on a Chovy and just flash feasts him, and it's like, oh, well. Yeah, for example. <laughs> There's many of those. Bar Barrel's actually the counter to Chovy. We figured it out. What I am happy to see, though, is that, again, the entirety of Hanwha Life is playing well. It's not just the Chovy show. We see Morgan and Arthur having amazing games here. Yeah, it's very true. That's what you need. That's what Dalman have, right? So, got a counter, fire with fire. You can see that Dalman this time around will play it uh, quite respectfully. Just gonna feast down Shelly. Actually, that was Shirley. Second ref, Daryl Tier, going to be taken down. And Dalman just, just trying not to bleed as much as they already have here and cut their losses. One issue that Dumbon might also run into as they get later into the game is that engaging onto the Hanwha Life Comp is actually decently hard due to the lack of reliable engage, right? Um, you're more looking at picks, you're looking at Zoe Bubbles, and possibly Khan throwing an ultimate behind the team so that they can't kite back. But otherwise, uh, especially with Hanwha Life not actually having a decent sized lead going into this. Morgan's disengage is really strong. Chovy is a victor. Deft is an Ezreal, right? Those two picks love just hiding back, playing in the back line, just poking away and poking away and punishing the opponent's lack of engage. Um, and, I mean, Deft, you know, he really wants to hit those item spikes. Who needs boots? I'm just, I'm just yeah. gonna get my money <laughs> and my essence, Reeve. I don't care. You just get the items you can afford. You just, uh... If that means you're not getting boots, 
and you gotta squeeze out your two item spike. And then you go ahead and do that. Oh boy, Everfrost lands, and this is what I was talking about! I, I summoned it! Barrel just beast down Chovy, and it's just like clockwork. Where have we seen this before? Game one, game two, and now game three. And Dalvin Kia now with no Chovy. You can see they are posturing here onto this Drake. They don't have a feast, but they're still in a pretty good spot. Canyon has to be careful. That's a really nice cast, and they're not going to be able to kill Canyon somehow, some way. And Zoe in the back side is just going to kill the Ezreal. And now that's easily going to be this Drake going the way of Dobwon. Did Death die to Wolves? I thought he was fine. I don't... Valdanos, teach me your powers. You summoned the exact moment you were talking about. It's literally an Everfrost into a flash forward with a feast. And Dobwon Kia, now they're at sword point and that completely flips what we were saying earlier on its head because as home alive, you can't afford to play nicely kite back kite uh, type of team fights and compositions. You need to be on that objective. Just watch, Chovy's so far up the lane. It's the Glacial Augment into Showmaker actually hitting the roots. Everything gets thrown down on top of that big, uh, big victor that otherwise could have provided so much backline threat and be a really big problem. And here it feels like Canyon is overstepping. Watch step. But yet Look. again, no, I want, no, no, no. Is it, is it Ignite? I think it's Ignite. I, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to... No, no okay, it, it wasn't. Okay. No, I, I was okay, about okay, to okay. say, it would be so good. <laughs> okay, uh, all right. He lives, right? or he, he tries to live with the sustain, and it's actually the Ignite that kills him. Um, it wouldn't have mattered, though, because the grand scheme of the, uh, or, or the, the, the real kicker there is that they lose to Drake, and we said this all starts with Showmaker stealing that first Drake. That's literally what enables this, right? Because now every four to five minutes, you need to be at the Dragon Pit as Humble Life. You have no option. If you give Soul to this team, it's over. I just not allowed uh, to. Uh, <laughs> what? Is he backing? Has he backed? Uh, no, he's actually, okay. He's gonna get the speed boost and just <laughs> run away. He's <laughs> just sprinting so, away. Very sneaky gangplank. I didn't know pirates isn't, were that cool. Isn't this Commando Gangplank as well? Isn't this like yes. special ops? Wow. Yes, it is. It makes what, sense. what a role player. <laughs> Unbelievable, Khan. I love it. It's funny because he is a role player on the Steam. Um, <laughs> gotta love it. He's uh, he's not had the most fun early game, but he's, he's providing us with some entertainment here. That is certainly his role. And of course, it's not over for Hanwha Life. They still have a gold lead. They still have a team composition that can fight really well. But it's in the context of this game. Uh, well, the time's... Uh, nah. I'm, I'm starting to lose faith. I want to see five games, but it needs to be a banger of a team fight for Hanwha Life. And not just one. Possibly two, three, four in a row. Because you need to get Drake. Then you need to also win the Baron fight. Then you also need to make sure that you actually get through the base. And then you need to end the game. Unless you can combine all of those into oh. one. Showmaker with the off angle tricking Vista, who went for the blind solar flare. That's where we're at. I'm saying sentences like that because these two <laughs> teams are just so good. There, there's no objective. It's fine. And mm -hmm. um, again, if this is a 3 0, I'm really glad. Like game one, it felt like it would be a stompy 3 0. But even if Dom and Kia win this game, which. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limp and say that they will, just from like how insane this team is. Hanwha Life have actually leveled up within this series. I think that you can have crit levy criticisms towards the draft that they had in game number two, but it was a very clear plan behind it, right? They actually played the early game really well. They played the game really uh, well here. Um, Morgan and Arthur have been playing insanely well, considering their lackluster performance against Nongshim, although I guess Arthur didn't actually have a lackluster performance because he played one game and got POG. So. Gotta, gotta tell you, take my words back on that one. But you know what I mean, right? Like, as a whole, the team feels like they're at the very least matching up to Dumb One Kia early, and that's more than a lot of other teams can say. Yeah, it's very true. I just wish that, you know, the one thing I don't want to happen is, okay, a minute until the next streak, 30 seconds comes around, somebody's out here farming in the mid lane, they get rooted and die because of lack of vision, because of lack of positioning. It's what we saw couple of games already. I just don't want that to happen. I want Hanwha Life to group up, try to front to back. You've got Leona Gragas, put them in the front. You have really insane scaling damage with your victor in Ezreal. Make something of it. Don't die. Get a good team fight in. 
and take a Mountain Drake and make this a game. Because if you get caught, and this turns into a 5v4, and Dom one just take another Baron for free, I might just lose my mind. <laughs> we, don't want, we don't want that, guys. Yeah. We don't want to lose our uh, double threat caster. That made us all very, very sad. I'd, I'd, I'd rather not lose both Veldits and the Veldana list mm. in one fell swoop. Pryo yeah. now being attempted to... Uh, I found it. And this is the luxury that Dom and Kia have. They don't need to go for Drake. They can just go for Baron if Hanwha Life overcommit. Okay, spotted here in the brush. And the thing is, you know, in terms of consistent damage on the side of Dom1, they do have scaling threats, the Senna, the Gangplank. But if Zoe's not hitting her stuff and she gets kind of zoned away, you know, the, 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 the choke out as well, we're going to have to see some pop-off damage from, I think, Showmaker in some of these team fights because the rest of the team alone might not be enough. Let's see some barrels, too, from Khan as they're slowly tipping away here. Barrel looking to zone them out as this dragon is getting closer and closer to the feast range. That's a perfect timing as now the CC comes in and they take down the Gragas, but immediately Togoth goes down. But look at the follow-up damage that comes out. Death is going to be totally zoned away. And now he doesn't have a true shot barrage either. No flash, no heal. The rest of Hobble Life is too low. And that's going to be another lost team fight. And the Mountain Soul going the way of Dom One Kia 25 minutes into the game. And Showmaker's not done. He's looking for more. There's the Everfrost. Do we have a follow up? Can you get away from Canyon, who actually does have to be careful? Still a lot of damage left on the rift, but Dom One are not scared. They are still chasing them down. And they can, right? The sustained damage that they have is insane. They have the healing from Ghost, keeping them alive. Vista has dodged so many sleepy trouble bubbles, but at one point it's got to end, right? And in the end, no uh, more kills will be found by Damon Kia, but the real damage, that's that's all. 25 minutes yep. in. Uh, what do you do, Feldas? I don't know. I, I legitimately don't know because we see Dom and Kia get into positions like this every single time. This time it's Showmaker with a heroic steal early on in the game to just get them on this trajectory. And then Humble Life not able to contest any of the other Drakes. And it's Beryl flashing for or going forward here. Yet yeah, flashing forward yet again. Uh, just the Lancy C chain immediately blow up Morgan. And then that's so much damage gone. Because that's no cask, right? This is an yeah. AP Gragas. Like, if he hits a cask, that backline is half health. It but <laughs> Beryl's playing like Cho'Gath. Like, he's playing simultaneously an engage support like he normally does. But then yeah. he's also the biggest boy, and he, like, one-taps people. And he has Zonia's, so <laughs> if he ever gets under threat, he, he knows he's got the backup, and he has the items to stick around in a sustained team fight. Depth was zoned out the entire fight. I mean, there was the... Gangplank ultimate right on top of him, can of barrage. Then he ate, I think, a, a barrel, or, or, or maybe it was just the silence from the Cho'Gath, and then he hit a massive paddle star right in the face. And that's when he was just like, okay, guys, I, I can't fight. I'm just gone. No Ezreal means so much less damage in these team fights. And uh, again, as you mentioned, it all starts with the pick, but then the follow-up damage is just so clean from Dom1. And what we're seeing there from Khan as well, because we saw some of his early barrel hits. This is not the big crit barrels that you'd expect from a divine sh or for uh, from a uh, shield bow and an uh, essence reaver gangplank, right? But he does have way more effective health, and you can see that Khan can actually move up a lot more there, go for more risky barrier angles, uh, and still have the utility of say his ultimate or the barrels procking a big slow on enemy of the backline carries and then he can just run up right with Sterex and Divine Sunder you are actually decently tanky you have Ghost keeping you topped up whenever you feel like it and now Domon Kia what do you not like as poke uh, is shields and if the enemy team has just an entire regenerating shield that they can always have against your poke it's following the plan yet again Valvus I feel like we're just barreling towards the inevitable future of Dom and Kia winning like a team fight and then just ending the game. Yeah, I mean, that seems like the most it likely scenario at this point, but we'll have to wait and see what Hama Life have in store. Uh, it's got to be better than the last team fight we saw. I wanted a straight up team fight. I got it. Didn't really answer um, my question, though, if they could actually win one.
And it is still possible as Hummel Life, but you need the slow fight. You need the kite back. Oh. Nope. Solar Flare is now down. Morgan is actually being run down by an Udir at the moment. He is going to Everfrost, being denied the body slam over the wall. It's a lot of damage coming in. Canyon gets a bit low, but here we go. The engage again, and Chovy gets caught in the front line as Beryl just makes mincemeat of the victor once again. And that's going to be Baron. You would have to imagine, even with Arthur available, 5v3, I don't think you can stop him. League of Legends is a game where, <laughs> you know, two teams kind of fight for 30 minutes and then Damon Kia wins the game. What can you do? Every single time they find an angle, this time it's Canyon uh, able to just keep Morgan there for long enough. Body blocks, his body slam over the wall. Khan comes as well. And then the sandwich comes in. The Baron gets started up. All right, oh let's see it. Let's see it. Nope. You know, it was actually close, <laughs> but you can't do those steals with the True Shot Barrage nowadays. It's much, much more difficult, but he does have to try in that scenario. I do appreciate Jonas Strong really leaving us in suspense. You know, like, yeah. oh, does he get it? Does That's he why get he's the it? best observer. He is. World. Uh, yeah. As good as Dumb with <laughs> are, are they really as good as Jonas Strong? We don't know. I don't know. They get forced in there, and this is the lockdown. Canyon literally flash bear slaps across the wall just after he sets up this initial play. Yep. And you can look at this and go like, is this really necessary? And it's... It's one. Everything works, right? The paddle star to make sure that you block it away. And Don Monkia, they've heard the tales of Jovi yep. and they're not interested. I mean, they're literally just eating him for dinner at this point in time. They picked the Cho'Gath. I love the symbolism. Great work, Damon Kia. And uh, now you're going up against the Baron. The Elder is about to spawn, by the way, in 25 seconds. Can you do anything? That is the question that remains to be answered. Look at Toby. He's desperate to try to get damage onto the Cho'Gath here. No knockup. This dumb one, you see Khan, he is back in the game, level 16. And Showmaker is just insane as well. He's hitting everything and he's zoning everybody on the side of Hamalife away. As they are now trying to barrel down mid lane and then wrap around into the Elder Pit. As, okay, you know, casually just going to take the damage there. Dep now has to flash away from that one. Double Kia, they are not messing around here tonight. It's looking like a 3-0. We'll see what Dev can do. He's trying to get off the ghost, but nope. He's going to be taken down. And at least they kill the Udir because if they didn't get anyone, that would have just been the saddest end to this series. Khan isn't even fighting in the fight. It's a 4v5. <laughs> <laughs> yep, see you, Vista. TP's coming in, and it actually will get off. But Khan says, you know what? I've had enough of this game. I died three times. And I'm just going to take you down now. Or will he? That's the question. Will he? Morgan's trying to get the kill. He has quick blades. OK, well, everybody else is dead. And now they're just barreling down the bottom side here with the Baron. And well, they're just going to go for the Elder Drake. Thought they had taken it, but uh... I just assume they take everything. They're not going to end the game. They will take the same play onto the Elder. Listen, it's fine. You know, if this is just so the comeback from Hanwha Life is going to be even better. That's, that's, the, <laughs> that's the setup here. I haven't quite figured out how they're going to deal with Elder Drake. That 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 one is um, is still... Good question. Uh, yeah, that, that one's kind of escaping me at the moment, but I'm, I'm sure it's possible as... Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, 1287, he has the smite, <laughs> and also there's, Udir has smite. There's like three. Feral might be able to get smite. <laughs> there's like three K true damage to an objective. You yeah. can't flip it, ever. You can't. I mean, your your only option really is to kill them. You have to get kills. You have to catch someone. Maybe Ghost, you know, the, the soft underbelly of the team. Maybe it's Canyon. Maybe they've caught him. They get up to Canyon, but immediately the Ezreal just goes away and Canyon is totally fine. He has the mountain, so that's a very great follow-up engage here from Morgan, but unfortunately they don't have the damage to get through this gigantic Shogun. See you later. There's the ace, and that is the 3-0 from Damwon Kia over Hanwha Life Esports tonight. This team 
is insane. And we say it again and again. And it feels <laughs> like it gets boring sometimes because what do you do? There's they're inevitable. <laughs> the too good barrel is a giant and he's just <laughs> Oh my god, damn one Kia. It has been a long time since we have seen a team look this dominant within the LC. They're going for more. Def dies again. It's like four times in a row. Yep, 0-4. That's how he'll end this series. Canyon nonchalant will take the headset off. And Dom Kia will reiterate in everybody mind everybody's minds that they are